Hello and welcome folks to the Gage Look and Europa Universalis 4 and our Ethiopia campaign to form a colonial empire or at the very least a great power. Let's do a very very quick recap. So we're on episode 5 now. We started off with our, I think it's 8 provinces we actually started, I keep saying 8 or 9 but it might actually just be those 7. But we started off in this general area, we have expanded fairly large to a very large level. We are coming to the point now where we're going to have to start pissing people off basically which is a little bit of a problem because so far we've gobbled up other coptic and fetishist nations and basically there's not enough people i mean i'm the main coptic nation and nobody really cared but i'm gonna have to start gobbling up probably the muslim world now and that might be an issue we are allied with aden which seems to be the largest muslim nation in saudi arabian peninsula at the moment but obviously the Mamluks are a problem. And we've got these guys down here, Ajiran. Ajiran that we're going to have to deal with. We've been playing on speed 5 for a while, just to get through things. We have a bit of a problem with institutions, it'd be fair to say. We're not getting them. Um, <laughs> but we will try and do something. We were considering moving our capital to the coast. It may be an idea... Although we can't move it there. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I should. I feel like that might help me. That is a Coptic nation. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to move it. I'm going to have to upgrade it a bit. I'm nowhere near technology, so don't worry about that. One pause it. We've got a small fleet. We've got two trading hubs. We have this trading hub where we are a little bit from and this trading hub where we are in a little bit from as well but nothing too dramatic we've now moved our capital to the coast i'll find out if that was a good idea or not from the comments hopefully i feel like i didn't have too much choice though and i think i need that to be a 20 development province why did i move the capital to the oh yeah because there is some institution spreads that talk about being coastal provinces although i can't remember exactly what so I might have just messed up, but I don't really mind. We've moved our capital to the coast now. End of. No, don't care. So do we have any claims on anybody at the moment? I think we probably do indeed, yes. Okay, that will make us smaller money. And we can do that as well. Can we threaten war against you? Nope, we have a truce. We are allied with you. These are the guys that we really want to take from. Now, who are you allied with? You are allied with Najran. Where is Najran? Najran is these guys. I'm not massively worried by that. Let's get this force here. And we'll get you an extra cannon, I think. Or a cannon. We obviously are converting a few provinces here. Because we are Coptic nation and we had a bit of sunny. And we'll go for the hardest ones first. Yeah, I think we will. We have army maintenance at full. We do indeed. Oh yeah, we've got a bit of a problem in inflation because we have two gold mines and they form a reasonably major part of our economy. Hopefully that will slowly change. But we'll see. Okay, let's threaten this war. Don't really mind if Beja. Oh no, let's wait till we've got that artillery piece. It may be worth building a fort in there eventually as well. Not yet. House of Fari. Local unrest. Local missionary strength. Oh, that's the first not great monarch we've had. It's a bit of a shame. We've done very well in Monarch so far. But, yeah, I think we had a 666 and a 654. All amazing, way above average. Importing iron. No, we'll gain mercantilism. Okay, let's threaten war here, guys. They might go for it. Doubt it, though. Okay. We can call our allies. I'm not sure we'll bother, will we? Yeah, I suppose. Why not? You're a loadier, right? Yep. I mean, I probably should give this land to them. 
But I'm not going to. Okay. I think you guys are both my vassals up here. You are indeed. I forced my religion on these guys, so they're not a huge fan of me. But they did want to become my vassals, so I don't feel terrible for them, I must admit. And I'll probably try and annex this whole kingdom if I can. Am I at war with Najran? Najran? I am. Doubt they'll be able to get across to me. Can I just detach siege and send you down here? Mamluks are in the golden era. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to try and take all of it. Yeah, it's not bad. Come on. I hate when this stuff like this. I mean, it's fairly sensible because it, it messes up your war score, but it's pain as well. Uh, trade efficiency. Oh. I should go for depth of power, actually. And how's our capital? There we go. 20 problem. 20 development, even. Where are you going? That should be your stat wipe. Stat. Okay, so that is you over, actually. Give it to me. What are you taking it for yourself for? Ah, oh, you know what? You can you can have Dongola if you want. It's fine. Take all your gold. Oh, they rejected it. I didn't actually expect them to regret reject that piece offer. Hmm. Alodia, can you just go invade them? I don't want to waste my manpower. I do have to remember, I do have a few rebellions come. I think I'll just cross over as well. Then. I believe your men are my allies as well, yep. I doubt the, they might vassalize at some point. Okay, capital province. Let's get a bit more manpower in here, I think. First and foremost, is there any cultures we can change? No, I think we've changed almost all the cultures that we want. Can you accept that yet? Nope. That's been pretty close though. Not really. Can I do a bombard? Yeah, I don't have any artillery. I do, just not enough. So I think we don't want to go any further north. Eventually we're going to have to invade the Mamluks. There's no question of it. They have Alexandria, which is one of our Coptic places. Oh, you little fuckers. One of our Coptic places. And we need to deal with that. Because we want to restore the Coptic faith to what it should be. The might of the world. I really want to form a colonial empire. I don't really want to take over Africa. There's a lot of Let's Plays where people are playing as Ethiopia or other, other strong nations like that and try to reunite Africa for the achievement. I'm not too interested in that. I, I want to... I think I like the idea of going into India. Definitely the West Indies, for sure. Okay, a peace offers from Najaran. or negotiate for yourself. Yeah, I'll take that. Definitely. And you will no doubt take my peace offer now because your allies just ran away from you. Um, yeah, sure. Oh, did I just notice that you're going to... Everyone got a wee piece of that. That's fine. It doesn't actually matter that much. Okay, make core. And if you can come back down here. In fact, we may as well get both your armies down here. I'm going to threaten war with these guys as well. capital province if we can get you trade a 
I think I'll get an extra artillery piece in each one of these armies. I just need to check what my land force limit is actually. I might be getting carried away. No, I'm fine. So I would like to threaten war with you guys over Sanang and they'll give me it. Sweet. I thought they might. Okay, make core. And you guys, well, you're going to need to give me probably Werder, I think. Improvements in land technology. We'll, we'll be a bit cautious. And how are we doing technologically? I think we probably could get these, although it takes some effort to get there. Um, I don't suppose institutions. Now, you see, whether that's anything to do with my capital or not, I don't know. But all of a sudden, institutions, that's probably more to do with up here. have a little look diplomatically. I would like you guys as a vassal because I would like to... Uh, it's never going to happen, is it? Um, okay, fine. Let's just ignore that at the moment. Let's bring down our fort maintenance and our army maintenance. We've got reasonable money. Let's bring that inflation down. Save up the pennies, really. To check out the institutions, see how they're. It's been a long time to spread the institutions, I think. Gain 25 military power, diplomatic power. I'll go for the diplomatic, I think. How's the Coptic faith looking? Pretty strong, generally. Now, remember, guys, we do have this ability with the Coptic faith. The more sites we have, we can get extra blessings. So you get manpower, manpower recovery, yearly legitimacy, and co-creation. None of these are superb, I'll be honest. The first two were pretty good, discipline and missionary strength. But it's still a nice little feature to have something to aim for. I do like that. Fantastic. We got any more cultural changes we can do? Nope. Manpower situation. What the hell? You little buggers. My, my army maintenance is pretty low. It's not pretty low, it's entirely low. Let's get up one tick and hopefully be able to do that. God damn it, what a pain. Utter pain that was. Oh no, we can't have it all the way down. Okay, we need to fabricate a claim. Now, do we want to just keep eating up the coast, or do we want to move inland a little bit here? Uh, I think we'll take one more coastal province from them. Maharan. Mirhan. Oh no, that's what am I calling that's the name of Laz. Kohori. Okay, stop building spy network. Is there anybody else we could potentially steal from? Not really. It's going to be uh, Ajuran are going to be our main enemies, I think. It's a pity we can't colonise yet. I'd like to colonise. There's a few provinces I get there. Most of this is wasteland, but there's a couple provinces here start taking. This one being the most obvious, I mean, I should definitely take that. Converted Zidia. Convert Sanang. How is our capital province doing? What would be better? Production. Okay, let's have a little look at our institution spread. It's going to be a very long time before we get any real institutions bred. I'm going to take the stability hit. And we'll upgrade the stability. We'd rather take that hit, I think. Okay. So there's not really too much for us to do, apart from 
maybe build a spy network with these guys. I doubt they'll Mam looks at you. It's price of paper has changed. The military leader has left us. We'll be at a truce with you for quite a while, I imagine. Oh no, we're not. Why are we not at truce with you? Target threats. I ah, don't bother doing that anymore. We've gained a province. Shendai, Lascaran. Now, if I was to go to war with you guys, you are allied with Aden. And you wouldn't. Yeah, you wouldn't join them. Yeah. So we're going to gobble you up as well. I think. Yeah, I think so. Let's pop our army maintenance up. Let's put you as our military leader. Ambo. That'll do. Presuming your military tech is equal. Yeah. We should be able to gobble that country up, actually. So we'll threaten war in a second. They're already at war with somebody else. And they're allied with Aden. And Aden are at war with them. But I'm sure Aden are not going to help them. Okay. And... Ajaran joined them and so did Mogadishu. I think we should be able to take them. Can wipe out their army straight away. Got plenty of manpower this time. I think if we take these two provinces. We should try and take all their provinces and then we'll go into Ajaran. Let's make a hole. So that's breach. It's a lovely little feature that. I don't know if that was already there, to be honest. But spend 50 dip, uh, military power to breach their walls. So handy. Okay, so their country's almost run, run over already. So there's their, there's their army right there. I think we can defend against that. And in fact, what's this? Yeah, that's fine. So they are attacking me, but let's just get a decent stack now. Okay, let's deal with them, handle them, harsh treatment, and good stability. You'll hopefully, I'm going to need to deal with that. That's a decent stack they've got. Hopefully this will die soon. I can call to arms, Yemen. I mean, it's not superb, the single province miner, but they've got 6,000 men. That should be mine. Nice. Okay, if we can go take these guys out, that would be very helpful. Yeah, you guys are messing up a little bit over there. Are you going to take that back for me, maybe? guys can just come over here and maybe just wipe them out. What is this? This is them. Aggressive expansion impact? That's probably a good thing for me. Okay, let's go deal with them. Oh, come on. We've got to win that battle. We outnumbered them 2 to 1, of course. Is that Mogadishu as well? Plenty of military power. I am worried in case of rebellions, so. We need to find a job for him. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Trader. Double skilled trader. Half the price. Uh, wrong one. Hmm. It's actually worth it for me. I don't think it is. What is worth it is probably war taxes. I think so. What do you want? Nope. I want everything, pretty much. That's what I'm going for. Attach siege. Attach siege. I 
don't see why not. I'm hoping I can deal with any aggressive expansion impact here. Probably won't. I'll probably end up absolutely die. <laughs> it's fine. I don't even mind. Let's go help out up here. I'd like to take Ajiran. I'm not sure what I want from Ajiran. These three provinces would probably be perfect because I'll hopefully take out their entire country up there. Siege of Merka. Are you coming to fight me there? You probably are. Okay, we'll leave you down here. What's going on? Not yet. And if you guys can get up there. I will offer you peace. I want this land plus all your gold plus four reparations. Okay. Is there anything else I want from them? Don't want to push it too much. Um, yeah, that should be okay. Yeah, I think so. And that's just for themselves. Yep. And we will sue for peace with you guys. And you know what's going to go on there, right? I'm not too sure what's going on with my military spread here. Check out my armies in a second. Make four. They're all very poor provinces, which makes it quite easy to just take everything. Nice. So I now have an entire the entire Horn of Africa. I have a lot of aggressive expansion, which is not great. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with my army setups here. So I think we'll get 2,000 more men down there, which will bring us to 11,000, which isn't great. Let's do 12,000. We have 5,100 men there. That doesn't make any sense. We'll combine them and see what we can do with them. We can make core. Let's make core out of all that we can. Okay, that's almost all of them. Our overextension isn't actually terrible. Again, provinces aren't superb, so... Okay, let's bring these together. Let's make a new unit. Let's just make a small 5,000 men unit. You guys are 13,000, that's fine. Need 75. Lose 10 legitimacy. Gain 10 legitimacy, that's fine. I am getting more and more concerned about the Mamluks. I'm going to get rid of this castle, I don't think I need it anymore. Probably want a castle down in the Horn somewhere. Trade, this should be good for our trade. Yeah, all of a sudden we should be earning a bit more money. I'm presuming that's our army maintenance that's going up. Reinforcement, two of a kind. Um, that's fine. Why have we got so much? It's just to size our armies. Be a wee bit careful now. We're gonna need to start building high or income, just not making enough money. Again, I'm a little bit concerned about aggressive. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna take a wee bit of a break from expansion like this. We've probably got as much as we want right now. We're gonna need to try and bring it together a little bit. We're not a million miles away from great power, but we're we're not gonna get there soon, I don't think. Bajan still hates us for the liberty desire. Converted another people. Can make core, so everybody's coring. And oh no, let, let's let's do the Nubian. I am trying to take up, so let's only do the ones that we need to at the moment. Oh, take the inflation hit, I suppose. So we definitely need a better admin guy, I think that's clear. Um, so he costs half the price and production efficiency goes up, so let's use him. Let's bring our army maintenance all the way down. We have a rebellion possible. We're going to have a few of those, I think. We seem to have decent military point build up, so that's fine. I mean, I think we've done pretty well here. Ethiopia is a decent, I mean, we've got a decent size in the map there. 
Hey, Dan. Let's just make sure you like us. Keep proclaiming those guarantees and things. Sweet. Very good. See, these are all pretty small provinces, so they're not not taking too long to do this. Um, that will give us 0 0.38. Not amazing, but not terrible. I'm not sure that's ever going to go down. Well, well, it's because we got divert trade on, I think, as well. I am genuinely considering making these guys a march. The problem is, eventually I'm going to want to take over Mamluk territory, and these guys could be a real pain if they're a march. So, I don't know. Somebody in the comments, I'm quite a few episodes ahead on this one, but I'm going to take a break after this for a few days to catch up if anyone could comment on them, and to play a little bit more on my other Europa Universalis Let's Plays, because I'm thinking I can get the Teutonic Order and the Huron campaign working again. It, there's been some problems since the updates, generally due to mods and things like that, but... I think we're probably there now. Um, okay, let's build there. Is there anything else that looks really good there? No, we, we need to be a wee bit careful with our money. Nothing's given us huge amounts of money. Um, any huge taxation, production. Any great manpower, let's stick one in there. I would like to keep about 300 in the bank, actually, to make sure I deal with any events. So I'll save that for a little bit. Is that the Mamluks caused, called me their rival? No, it doesn't. Oh, wait, what am I talking about? Yeah, the Mamluks are now my rival. So I think what we'll do is we'll permanently place this unit up here. Okay, Navy Tradition. Not really helping me, I don't think, but fine. Thank you very much. Okay, so I think we're going to call it there. I've quite enjoyed that episode. Once again, guys, we've expanded. We've pretty much got all the Horn of Africa, apart from this little slip here. We will gobble up Ajiran, but we're going to have to be careful with our aggressive expansion, as the Mamluks are obviously taking notice now of us. They have rivaled us. The Ottomans seem to be gobbling up a bit of their territory, so we might have a timed war against them coming soon. It's a little bit awkward the way we'd have to fight them, but we'll see. We'll probably try and annex some of our our vassals very soon, actually. We might deal with that. At least not, yeah, we'll definitely want to annex Beja. So whilst I'm still here, I'll stop diverting our trade. Because I'll forget otherwise. Um, yes, okay. So please remember to press the like button and subscribe. Especially if you're enjoying this series. It really helps my channel. It encourages me to make more videos for this. And please offer some advice. I, I'm a little bit stuck where I should go to next. I do want to just gobble up this, but I am worried about the Mamluks, and I don't think I can take them yet. In fact, I know I can't take them yet. So, yeah, let me know. Anyway, thanks very much, guys. See you soon.